ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. Keep on the Galilee, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That Savior rich like me, I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. I ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. I ain't gonna let nobody turn. service this morning. We thank you all for coming. Uh, glad to have you. Glad to have our family back. We had a safe, successful trip, I see. Amen. Amen. I'm glad to see the Butler's here this morning. Amen. And thank God for seeing everybody because Amen. it's a blessing that we're here. We weren't guaranteed we were going to be here on yesterday. Amen. But we thank God for this day, this moment, right now. So let's make the best of it. We're going to have Deacon Brown to lead us in a hymn this morning. And after that, Deacon Brown going to lead us in a prayer. We go from there. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you. Okay, we like that. We it. Mother, happy Mother Day this morning. Uh, praise God for another Sunday morning. Amen. Yes. God help you to along with the home. We thank Him for it. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're going to ask you to join in with us. We're going to have a hope of Jesus this morning. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, the day we should have come.
holy this day. Yes. A day of worship for you, Lord. Yes. Oh, yes. We want to thank you, Lord, for these mothers this morning, Father God. Yes. Yes. Who allow us to come forth and be birthed in your image, oh God. Yes. Yes. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We glorify in your holy name, Father. Yes. Lord, just touch us right now, Father. Yes. Yes. Let the pastor have a word this morning, Father God. Yes. Yes. That touches every soul in the building this morning, Father yes. God. Yes. Let them take it with them, Lord, and be able to do what they feel it. That God wants them to do, oh God. Oh, yes. Yes. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name, Father. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory to your name, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 When all of God's children get together, oh, what a time. What a time. We're gonna sit down by the bank Come on, deep. of the river. Oh, what a time! Oh, what a time! Oh, what a time! Well, our praying will soon be over. Controls everything. He owns everything. Yes, Cattle yes. on a thousand hills. God owns it. God yes, owns us. Yes. He's our maker and our creator. Yes. So who are we to take the back seat on Him? Yes. We're supposed to stay out front for God. Amen. No matter what comes before you in your life, God 
to bring you through. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, yes. And we thank Deacon Brown and Deacon Brown this morning for helping us with the devotion. Yes. And we ask y'all to continue to pray and uplift the church as God will have us to do. Amen. 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 Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we're going to have um, some readings and poems and a song today. And we're going to start out first with Sister Makaya Washington. mother's love. There's no love like a mother's love. Her heart is filled with fear. If Christ is her example, her Savior is love, she will show. A mother's love is endless, not changing for all time. Needed by her children, a mother's love will shine. God bless these special mothers. God bless them every one. For all these tears and heartaches and special works they've done. When days on earth are over, a mother's love lives on many generations God blesses on each one. Be thankful for our mothers who love it with how you love for the power God has given and strengthened from up above. and counselor to me when I was a kid. How'd you do it all, Mom? Yeah. So for a cook and friend. Yet found a time to be a playmate I just can't comprehend. I see now it was love, Mom. That made you come whenever I call. Yeah, inexhaustible love, Mom, and I thank you for it all. mother. Mom, you give me so much love from your heart and the warmth of your touch. To get the life and your friend to me, we have a very special one which only comes from God. I'm sure you agree. As a child, I would say, Mommy, I love you. And now, now, we're my, now you're my mother so dear. I love you even more with each and every new year. 
if I could have, if I could have chosen, I would have picked you, picked no other than for you to be my low life friend and precious mother. Walk alongside me, Mom, and hold my little hand. I have so many things to learn that I don't yet understand. Teach me to keep me safe. Teach, teach me to, sorry. Teach me things to keep me safe from the dangers every day. Show me how to do my best at home, at school, at play. Every child needs a gentle hand to guide them as they grow. So, walk alongside me, Mom. We have a long way to go. <laughs> Next, we'll have Destiny. Dear Mom, like a nurse, you take care of what hurts. Like a map, you help me find my way. Like a superhero, you can save the day. Like a library, you share your knowledge. Like Ledge, you allow me to stand on my own two feet. Like a therapist, you always listen. Like a tissue, you dry my tears. Like the ocean, you're always there. Like no one else, you love me. Like home, you are where my heart is. Love your daughter. P.S. I believe you can do anything because for me, you've done everything. We have a, a song from our little ones, Winter, Joy, and Ariana. Amen. Amen. Amen.
The candies go along with our last poem by Sister Canaria Ross. Shirley Caesar says it best. I always remember mommy. And her favorite song is to trust and faith. Amen. There's no charge. Amen. 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 Nine months of that carriage. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah.
with us, mothers that are down with us, those for the mothers that are here with us in this cancer. And the third one is for the ones on the screen. And I, I just want to say, if you got a living mother, show the love. Amen. Show the love. I know when my mom was living, mm -hmm. I tried my best mm -hmm. to show her the love. Yes. And so therefore, I know I did my part. Mm -hmm. So if you have a mother, show the love now. Yes. Or maybe too late. Amen. 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 Let's give God another hand clap of praise. That's decent, but let's give God a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. To all the mothers, happy Mother's Day. I want to thank the youth uh, committee and, and the, the youth uh, advisory board and the youth counselors for all the hard work and diligence you show when you spend that time with the children. It shows through the radiation of what they do here in church. Amen? Amen. I want to thank the children for being obedient to even want to be a part of uh, a program Amen. to come out and, and present yourself because it's not easy standing in front of everybody knowing that they got eyes, ears, and ears ready to listen on what you're saying. Amen? Amen. 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 Another Sunday, another Sunday, Mother's Day, a special day that was set aside to uh, lift up the mothers and, and remember the mothers and, and, and just be thankful for mothers. It's always an opportunity that we have to give God some glory because of our mothers. Amen? Because I promise you, without them, we wouldn't be here. Amen? Amen. 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 So it's such a blessing to uh, be able to go over and reflect on times like that. Amen. Amen. We want to thank uh, everyone for coming out today. Amen. 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 On screen as well. Don't think I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting about you just because we're here. Because you're just as important here uh, on the screen as the ones who are physically here. Amen. But I want to thank the ones who physically came out today. I want to thank uh, our visitors. Uh, you're no longer visitors. Once you cross the, cross the threshold of the door. Uh, uh, Joshua and family, they they went to. They came last Sunday, and they, they they went down to Florida, and they made their way back this Sunday. Amen. 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 So that means that they left a little early to make it here for Sunday service, and we want to thank God for you all uh, on the way back to West Virginia. Uh, we pray God is coming and that He will keep you throughout the course of your trip. But we you we you are addition to our church Amen. because they worship in West Virginia at a Primitive Baptist church, and they found one. But they decided to settle here with us during this time. And we are so thankful Amen. for you lending your spirits with us and joining in. Amen? Amen. 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 I got a, a brother and a, and, a, and a couple of sisters back there Amen. who are, are my clients and, uh, uh, and, and husband. So uh, I want to thank them for coming because uh, they're with me every week or every two weeks. The, the women are, the mothers are. Amen. So I want to thank God for you, but I want to thank God for Deacon uh, James Brown coming in Amen. and sitting in with us because that's not easy. You know, but you're no longer a visitor. Amen. So you're always welcome here at Mount Zion to come and sit in with us and let God use you the way he has this morning. Amen. 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 And everybody else, our, all of our members, we thank you for being here. Amen. 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 We thank you for being here. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to tarry much longer. There is a word today, but before I get to the word, I want to stop and uh, let you know that we, since we are still on Zoom and we're on YouTube, we have some... Uh, Ways that we pay tithe and offering, uh, there's one way we do it with Tidely. It's an app called Tidely that we use. And when you pull up the app Tidely, you uh, look up Mount Zion Primitive Baptist Church, and you can pay uh, your tithe and offerings that way uh, over the Internet. And that way you can do it electronically. Also, there's somewhere always physically on site here during the course of service where you can come pay your tithe and offerings. Amen? Amen. The Word of God says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Amen. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together and pouring over into your lap. So God, what he's saying there is, he will always make sure that you're taken care of when you take care of him and his business. Amen? Amen. Deacon, if you don't mind, uh, let me get Deacon Carl up here. Because God says he loves a cheerful giver, not out of grudgingly or out of necessity. He loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. Dear gracious and heavenly Father, Lord, Lord, we want to thank you for the offering that was given today, Lord. Yes. Yes. Lord, we want to thank all those who gave and gave willingly, Lord, to do the work in your name, Lord. Lord God, we hope that you bless us for the rest of this day, Lord, and see us on our way home, Lord. Yes. Lord, bless the bless the preacher, Lord. Fill his mouth with the words you want him to preach, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, again, we thank you for the offering. May it all be worked in your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Before I get to the word, I just want to share uh, something with the mothers that are on the screen. Um, for all of the mothers that are physically here, they receive the rose. And for those who are on the screen, this is just symbolic of the love that we have for you all. It's not enough. It can't even compare to uh, what you've done for your children, you know, how you raised children stepchildren, children outside of your children, other people's children. I know because I know because I see it in my wife. And I know being a mother, when you got children, they bring other children. And that comes with other children. So there's never an end to what you do. So we can't thank you enough for what you do. But on screen, we have a rose for you too. Don't think that you've forgotten or left out. We just want to make sure that we present this to you. And this is yours. Uh, in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Amen. There is a word today. With me, uh, uh, the word that was uh, be preached today will be taken from John, the 19th chapter. And we want to look at verses 25 through 27. That's John, the 19th chapter, verses 25 through 27. Amen? Amen. That's the book of John in the gospel, the 19th chapter, verses 25 through through 27. When you get it, stand for the reading of God's holy word. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord, we thank you. John 19, verses 25 through 27. Amen? Amen. Amen. We all don't want to call it? Amen. Amen. And it reads as follows. Now therefore stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother, and the disciple whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her, to his own home. Father God, here I am standing right now in the name of Jesus, standing in the midst of your Holy Spirit, God. I ask that you would drop it upon me right now, God. Anoint me, God, to speak your word over your people. Uh, God, I ask now that you will show some agape love beyond measure today in the name of Jesus. I ask now, God, that you will prepare your people to receive of your word. In Jesus' name I speak and I pray. Amen. Amen, amen. amen. I know most typical Mother's Day sermons come from Proverbs 31, talking about a virtuous woman and all of the great things that God put in that particular book. But God led me here today to share with you briefly. I'm not going to be long, long-winded today. I'm going to try not to. 
But if you be quiet, I'm going to keep going. But uh, I just want to share with you today something that God put on my heart. And if you're writing down or if you're taking mental notes, the topic today I'll be preaching from is a mother's love. There's no comparison. To a mother's love, there's no comparison. And what's exciting about that is we find that at the base of the cross, you saw Christ's mother Mary, his auntie, you saw uh, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and you saw uh, Mary Magdalene. They were all there, knowing that Christ was about to die. For the remission of our sins. Amen? Amen. 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 But, but I found that a mother's love, that there's nothing that compares to it. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Uh, uh, the love that a mother gives a child, there's no separation. Yeah. I mean, I've seen and been a part of love when love probably should have been even there. Oh. Huh? Y'all know that we get rebellious as children sometimes, and you wonder why your mama's scratching her head, but yet she's still welcome you in with open arms. Yeah. Amen? Amen? You might have took your mother through the peaks and the valleys and yet your mama is still saying, come on in child. I still love you and I'm still for you. Amen. You might have stayed out all night but yet when you come home in the morning she don't get on to you. But yet she said, are you hungry? Do you want something to eat? Amen. A mother's love, there is no comparison. You look at Jesus here who had gone through life and at the age of 12, his mother and father was looking for him. And they was wondering was he lost, but because they had made a three days journey coming back from the feast. And yet, when they looked around, they couldn't find their son. And they said, where is he? He's only 12. But when they found him, Jesus had a, a question for him. He said, why do you look for me? Don't you know that I be about my father's business? Amen. So in other words, us as believers, as children of God, we got to start being about our father's business. Amen? Amen. But, 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 but back to the mother and showing the love that there is no comparison. There are a few things I want to talk about that's going to highlight a mother's love today. The first thing is a mother carries you. A mother carries you for nine months in an incubator called her stomach. And I noticed that from that sick, that first to that ninth month, she grows highly. And that builds a relationship. And once that relationship is built so greatly that when that baby comes, it's so it's such an explosion of emotion from a mother that you will not be able to disconnect that mother from a child. Amen. But we find here that Jesus' mother Mary was there at the foot of the pole of, 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 of the cross. I'm taking us to the cross to start us, but we're going to close off at the cross too. But his mother had a love for it. Not only was it her, but she had a sister there with her. Not only was her sister there, but Mary Magdalene, who he delivered from all the evil spirits. And, and she right away started following him. Do you can you imagine? She was at the point of death. They was about to stone her. And Jesus said, No, let him who is without sin cast the first stone. See, that's the love that a mother gave you going back to the mother. And he saw that. And Mary, not only Mary Magdalene, but there was another Mary there. So there were four women there at the base of the cross that stood in the gap. Oh my God. When everything around Jesus was falling apart to the point of death, second thing, not only did she carry you and build a relationship, but she nurtured you. A mother nurtures you. What do you mean a mother nurtures you? Throughout that time when you couldn't take care of yourself, your mother was there. When snot was running out your nose, your mother was there. When you didn't know how to clean yourself, your mother was there. You couldn't go to the pot regularly, your mother showed you how to do it. When you are sick in the midnight hour, there's a mother there. What if the mama there is some, uh, some Tylenol or, or some ibuprofen to see you through it? When you're hungry, your mother might sometimes not have enough to eat, but she's making sure that you eat. A mother nurtures you. When you go into school, that mother takes out time, even though you've been to school, to teach you a little bit more. That's a mother. So a mother's love, there's no comparison. I love my, my, my mother. My daddy was all right, but... When something goes down, the first person you're going to pick up that phone and call is your mother. Yeah. 
You gonna make sure daddy know. But you running straight to mama. That's just that's just a part of a natural instinct from you being connected to your mother. See, you, we got to realize something. After nine months, when you come out of the womb, there's something that's called there that they have to cut. That's a, a car. See, that's when daddy come to play then. Daddy did his part throughout the process, but then the doctor called daddy and said, Daddy, get these scissors. I need you to cut that unbiblical car. And that unbiblical card is the what feeds the baby, that gives the baby third, uh, drink when he's in the womb. We got to realize something. I'm just trying to paint a picture here. Why you see what? Well, well, why is Mary at the bottom of the cross? And she know her son about to die because she had a great love for her child. So she carried him and she nurtured him. Amen. And the, 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 the next thing she did, she prayed for him. Mm, my God, let's look at the scripture. The scripture said, now there stood at the cross of Jesus his mother and his mother's sister and his mother of the, and the mother of Clopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing there, and he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. Even at the point of death, Jesus still had a great love for his mother. What do you mean, preacher? What Jesus was doing here, he was making sure that even though I'm about to leave you, mother, I got a brother here who will still be there in the gap for you. So I need you to behold your son right now because I'm about to do something that he's not ready to do. I'm about to do something that they're not able to do. I'm about to do something that's going to save your life, mother. Behold your son. So we find that not only does that mother pray for that son, not only does a mother pray over their children, they pray for them, oh, yeah. they pray over them, mm -hmm. they pray through them, mm -hmm. they pray around them. Y'all ain't with me today, but it's all right. I go by myself. I got to realize we are we are lifting up mothers today. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And if you have a mother, you better do right by her. Because once that light goes out with that mother, I promise yes. you, yes. you're going to go back and say, I wish yes. I would have, yes. could have, or should have. Yes. So if she's here now, you better take out some time to love her. Because tomorrow is not promised. But today is the time you have. So I don't care if she's the worst mother in the world. Give her some love because love covers up your say a mother's love. There's no comparison. So Jesus was telling them. He said, woman, behold your son. Then he turned around and told that same disciple who he loved, John, he said, behold your mother. So in other words, he had them covering one another. See, we got to realize some stop being so dependent on your mother that you use her as a, uh, as a, as a decoy. Ah, somebody. Every time she see you, you like this. Every time you hear from you, it ain't thank you, mama. It's can you? Can you? I need. I need. What about thank you, mama? Thank you for the times that you didn't know about that you were praying for me that I lived through. Thank you, mama, that during that dark time when I was all by myself, I thought about you and I got stronger. Thank you, mama, that you loved on me when I couldn't love myself. Thank you, mama, that you prayed for me. When you could have. So a mother prays for you. She prays with you. She prays over you. And the fourth thing, I got a fourth point today I want to make. A mother's love is unconditional. A mother's love is unconditional. A mother's going to love you through things that you didn't even know she knew you did. Ah. Y'all think mama don't know. Mama know. I will just decide not to fuss at you about it to make sure that you don't get out of bounds any worse. Because she know what you're doing. Know what you did. They've been through your stuff to know what you're doing. Huh? A mother's love. There is no comparison. There's no comparison to the love that a mother has for their child. So we find that Mary loved her son so much that she stood at the foot of the cross 
And from there, he said, behold your mother. And from that hour, John took his mother in. And he kept her. Nursing homes are full of mothers mm. yes. that should be with their children. Amen. 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 That shouldn't be someone taking care of a mother that you around here doing everything you want to do. What if she decided that she didn't want to do what she had to do and felt obligated to and gave you to somebody else or a nanny or, 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 or a babysitter and always gone? Amen? But back to what Mary did, she loved her son. She loved him no matter what they said about him. She loved him no matter because she knew her child. Oh, my God. Yes. There's a connection that when a mother knows a child, the court system might say guilty, but the mother say not guilty. Yes. My God. My God. But I know a man. I know a man. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. This man I know. Mm. Formed in the womb in the womb of a virgin. This man I know mm, was uncommon to the eye. He wasn't the handsomest man you want to see. This man I know was a man that stood when nobody else was willing to stand. This man I know told him, Dad, I go down there in that sinful world where nobody else want to go. I know a man that walked the earth for 30 and 3 years. I know a man that came through 40 and 2 generations. I know a man that they did wrong and scourged him and beat him all night. I know a man. You got to realize they put a thorn in his head, a, a crown of thorns on his head till the blood came streaming down. I know a man that they mocked in the midnight hour and said, you ain't about nobody. If you are the son of God, take yourself down. I know a man that they took that same staff and beat him upside his head when he went to the hill of Golgotha and walked up the hill with a cross on his back. That cross was you and me that he carried here. I know a man that went to the place of skulls to die called Golgotha. I know a man that laid there just like a lamb and said stretch me wide and hang me high because if I be high and lifted up I'll draw all men into myself. We got to realize somebody he was on that cross stretched out. He went from north to south to east to west. And he know that everything that was in the whole world was in his hand. He was consumed by the love that he had for us. So when his mother was at the base of the cross looking up on her son about to die, he said, Mama, I got you. Mm. For all that you've done for me. Mama, I got you. Because you didn't have to do it for me, but mama, I got you. I conditionally you love me. Mama, I got you. Let me stretch my arms a little while. Mama, I got you. Let me push me up a little higher. Mama, I got you. And he hung there from that sixth to ninth hour until he laid his head in his locks and said, Eli, Eli, love Anatha. It is finished. And all he was saying in Greek was, Father, why have you forsaken me? But he said, not my will be done, but yours. So they took him to that borrowed tomb. And three days later, those same Marys went to that tomb. And, it's, and the angel said, why must you look for the dead among the living? All in one Sunday. All in one Sunday. He got up with all power in his hand. But I want to say something real quick before I close. Because when he went to that tomb, that was something that he did. He unlocked the tombs of all the saints. And they walked the streets of Jerusalem. See, a lot of people don't tell that part of the story, but he allowed Moses and Elijah to walk in Isaiah, he let him walk the streets of Jerusalem. To let him see that all these great men, these saints, they go to heaven with me. I want to ask you a question today. Will you come? Will you come? 
why the blood of Jesus is running. Will you come to Jesus while today is still near? Will you come while the blood is flowing in your veins? Will you come? I don't care if you're standing in need of prayer today. Won't you come? No, tomorrow is not promised. Later on today, you might not make it. God forbid. But if you don't, God is able. Will you come? Because God is able. But what I love about the Lord is he loved us so much that he sacrificed his own life that you and me might have life and life more abundant. Because without him dying, where would we be? If you stand in the need of prayer, won't you come? Speak now. Or forever hold your peace. I thank God for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us all pray. Father. Oh, Father God. God, we stand in the need of prayer today. Oh, God, so we're confessing in some more. But God, the word of God tells me that you search the hearts of men. So God, you know what they're going through right now. You know what we are going through right now, God. So we stand right now in the need of prayer. Oh God, we stand on one accord. We're not just being religious, God, but we want to be spirit-filled today. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, you say in your word, anytime that there's two or more degrees in anything in the name of Jesus, there you are. In the midst, God, you heard the names that were called out. Deborah Penn and Sandra and Brenda Howard, brought, Father, the Mount Zion family, all who have come through the threshold of the door. In the name of Jesus, God, we need you today, God. Oh, God, bless our family members, those who are lost right now, God, that just can't find their way back to the church, God. You reach them where they are, God. We send you forth in Jesus' name. Oh, God, for us who stand here today, God, we speak healing. We speak healing, God. We speak healing in the name of Jesus. We speak healing, God. We speak healing, God, where there's sickness. We speak healing, God, where there's bitterness. We speak healing, God, where there's brokenness. We speak healing, God, in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, catch our families right now. Put them back together. Restore, God, right now. In the name of Jesus, God, we need redemption right now. Speak, God. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak into your houses today, God. Speak into relationships, God. Speak, God, as only you can. We send you forth in Jesus' name. And God, you say, whatsoever we bind here on earth shall be bound in heaven. We bind unforgiving spirits. We bind uh, brokenness. We bind suicide. We bind death, God. We bind oppression. We, we bind sickness. We bind AIDS. We bind uh, uh, high, high blood pressure. We bind diabetes right now, God. We bind those things whatsoever in the, on the earth, God. Bind it up in heaven, God. And God, we lose your love. We lose your love right now, which perfects the law. We lose your love, God, which perfects our spirit. We lose your love, God. That's a God thing. God bless every mother today at the sound of my voice. Bless them today, God. Let them know that they are appreciated, God. Let them know that even though the child might be wayward right now, God, you are the way to bring them back. Because you are the way, the truth and the life. Oh, God, I thank you today and I trust you. I trust you today, God. People came out today, God. They came out to see not me, but they came to see you. Show up and show out, God. That's only you can, God. Meet them at the threshold. Meet them at the threshold, God. Meet them at the threshold, God. Let them know that they've been touched by the Holy Spirit. Let them know that they've been touched by the anointing of God. Pour that fresh oil on them right now, God. Let them know that they're separate and you call them to be holy, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand, clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today you can remember that a mother's love has no comparison. Don't get it twisted. Because Jesus is love. And he's the one that blesses all the mothers to be who they are today. We thank God for you, for your time, 